India, officially known as the Republic of India, is the world's biggest democratic country. It is the second most populous and seventh largest country on the planet. India has been the cradle of one of the oldest civilizations. The breathtaking landscapes, the abundant natural resources, the mesmerizing culture and diversity has made India the center of attraction even from ancient times. There are lot many fabulous secrets of this country which will certainly fascinate you. Welcome to Bahis Gurukul. Today I'll be sharing with you 10 most amazing facts about this beautiful country. Subscribe to this channel for informative videos like this. So let's get started. Here we go. The floating post office of Srinagar. For more than 150 years, the Department of Post has been the backbone of India's communication. with 155,531 post offices they are the most widely distributed postal network in the world and guess what india now has its first floating post office yes you heard it right the first floating post office is in srinagar jammu kashmir it's set on a huge house boat at the dal lake jammu kashmir widely known as the paradise on earth And the most interesting thing about this post office is that the letters posted from here will carry a special design which will have the picturesque sceneries of Dal Lake and Srinagar city. Interesting, isn't it? Polling booth for a single voter. Yes, you heard it right. India is the biggest democratic country in the world and if you want to be a voter in india be like mahan bharatdas bapu mahan bharatdas bapu is the lonely voter who resides inside the famous gir forest in gujarat he is the temple priest in an ancient shiva temple inside gir forest in the last general elections the election commission of india set up a booth exclusively for mahan bharatdas bapu at banich inside the gir forest five polling officers traveled 70 kilometers inside the forest for setting up the booth well that's called dedication every vote counts that's why india is still the biggest democratic country fox the wettest place in the world Mauzindra Mauzindra is not a name that may slip into your conversation on a regular basis. It's a town in the East Khasi Hills district of Meghalaya state in the northeastern part of India. It receives the highest rainfall in India and it is known to be the wettest place on earth with an average rainfall of 11872 mm. The average monthly temperature ranges from around 11 degrees celsius in january to just about 20 degrees celsius in august it is one of the most highly visited tourist destinations in india but guys don't forget to keep your umbrellas if you're planning to visit there mauzindra the wettest place in the world mangra valley ceiling Officially known as Rajiv Gandhi ceiling, Bandra Valley ceiling is a bridge that links Bandra in the western suburbs of Mumbai with Valley in South Mumbai. It's a cable stayed bridge with paste first concrete steel viaducts on either side. Okay guys, now let me share you the coolest facts about Mumbai's much loved Bandra Valley ceiling. Do you know that each one of the steel cables used in the bridge can hold about 900 tons of weight? and all those cables put together would probably be as long as the circumference of the earth yes you heard it absolutely right hold on the next thing which i'm going to say will blow your mind the ceiling was made of 90000 tons of cement and is equal to the weight of not one or two but 56000 african elephants well that's what you call as a bridge
the biggest family in the world. India ranks number two in the world population. Yes, there are people everywhere. Meet Mr. Siana, a 75-year-old man from Mizoram. He holds a record of being the head of the world's largest existing family with 39 wives, 94 children, 14 daughter-in-laws and 33 grandchildren, making it to a family of 180 members in total and still counting. Exactly, you heard it right, 180 members in the same family. Well, that's a lot of people guys. The family is now living in Baktwang village of Mizora. Ziana was featured in Ripley's Believe It or Not Top 11 Strangest Stories for the year 2011. Diamonds of India Do you know the fact that from ancient times, India was the source of nearly all the world's known diamonds? Diamonds have been preserved as gemstones since they are used as religious icons in ancient India. The popularity of diamonds has risen since the 19th century because of increased supply, improved cutting and polishing techniques, growth in the world economy and innovative and successful advertising campaigns. India was the only place where diamonds were mined until the discovery of diamonds in Brazil in 1726. Most of the diamond mining takes place in Andhra Pradesh along the Krishna River Delta. The Kalu mine here was the source of many legendary gems including the Kohinoor, Orla, Hawk Diamond, Great Mughal Diamond and the Regent Diamond. A Village with No Doors Shani, Shignapur The safety of our houses depends a lot on strong doors. Can you imagine a house without doors? If you want to see such houses, go to Shani Signapur village in Maharashtra. The village is very popular for the shrine of Shani Devstan. And guess what? When you go there, the empty door frames mark the entrance to houses. Oh my god! The homes of the 4,000 odd residents of the village doesn't have doors thanks to the local custom there. The villagers believe that Shani Dev watches over this village and if someone tries to steal something, they will face Sado City, seven and a half years of bad luck. Even the back building in the village doesn't have a conventional lock system. Interesting, isn't it? Shampoo Beauty and personal care are the most integral part of our lives today. And shampoos help us to weed out dandruff and to provide us with silky shining hair. It was in 1914 that Casey Herbert invented the first commercial shampoo. But the word shampoo had came into circulation long back. It dated to 1762 and was derived from Hindi word champo which stands for gentle head massage. It then went into the English language from the Indian subcontinent during the colonial era. Sheikh Din Muhammad, an Indian, is credited with introducing the practice of shampooing to Britain. In 1814, he opened the first commercial shampooing vapor measure bath in England. Well now, we know how common it is today around the world. But not many of us knew that it was an Indian who popularized this. Abdul Kalam Island Formerly known as the Wheeler Island, Abdul Kalam Island is an island off the coast of Odisha state in India. It's located approximately 150 kilometers east of the state capital Bhavaneshwar. It was renamed as a tribute to the late President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who is also known as the father of Indian missile technology. He is widely known as the People's President. The Integrated Test Range Missile Testing Facility is located on this tiny island. 
Well, that's really a great honor to have an island in your name, isn't it? The banned island in India. The North Sentinel Island, one of the Andaman Islands in the Bay of Bengal, is home to the Sentinelese, an indigenous people in voluntary isolation. They are among the last tribal people to remain virtually untouched by modern civilization. The people of this tribe had rejected, often violently, any contact with the outside world. They live in total isolation from the rest of the world. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands Protection of Aboriginal Tribes Act of 1956 prohibits travel to the island and any approach closer than 5 nautical miles to protect the local tribal people. So be careful to keep this island away from your travel list next time. Well guys, that's all for today. We'll meet you in the next episode of Amazing Facts.